Alright, let's go. La. You can say I don't need me. But with the energy I put inside of every track, I guarantee that I can make a look. Alright, so I just got home from school. It's uh, Thursday. And okay, the sun's like in my face, but I want some good lighting, so I'm just gonna roll with it. But uh, my camera was in the back of my car all day, and I drove out to lunch, and then I drove home, and it banged around a whole bunch. And it, I hope it's not like destroyed, but it like banged around against a bunch of metal stuff in my trunk. So we're gonna hope it's okay. But I just wanted to point out uh, how much of a difference the sunlight makes. So I live in Washington, not Washington D.C., Washington State like above uh, California and Oregon, that Washington that no one really ever talks about. Uh, I live here, actually some people talk about Washington when they talk about like the Seahawks, I guess, or how bad the Mariners are, but anyways, it rains like all the time, except for like two or three months during the summertime. Other than that, it rains like all the time. And it's different than like a place that has snow all the time because snow, it can still be sunny out and nice out and it's fun, the snow's cool. Rain, it's just like depressing. Like apparently people who are outside of Washington State think that everyone in Washington is, is depressed and hates their life. That's not really the case, but I can definitely see why because like the rain is just so annoying. Like it, it makes you not want to do anything. You have no motivation. But like when it's sunny out, like today, the sun's out and it's nice and it's awesome and there's a bunch of trees and stuff and it's cool and you actually want to do stuff. But I don't know, I feel motivated right now. Even though I'm really tired, and I don't know what video to make, like I'm at a loss right now, and there's people on the road that are staring at me, but I don't know what video to make right now, but I guess we're gonna figure it out. Is this good? Are we cool? Should we zoom in a little bit? Uh all right, so whenever I can't think of a video idea to do for the day, I just look through the notepad on my phone because I have hundreds and hundreds of ideas that I have written down over the past couple years. And if anything catches my eye, I'll do it. So today I was looking through it and I saw the one and I just titled it, Do You Want to Know How I Got These Scars? Because it reminded me of like the Batman scene when the Joker's like, You want to know how I got these scars? You want to know how I got these scars? I don't know, that was probably a terrible impression, I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, I'm talking about two scars, or maybe three scars I'll talk about right now. So, I have one scar right somewhere over here, I can't really see it. You know what, let's, let's zoom in, see if you can see it. Right there. You can't really see it that well, but in person it's, you can definitely tell it's there. Anyways, that scar I got because, okay, this is really embarrassing, but I, I think this was before I even went into preschool. Actually, maybe I was in like preschool or kindergarten or something, I don't know. But anyways, I was pretending to play cowboy on a broomstick. So we had a broom and I don't know if we had like a lion's head or horse head or like little stuff thing on the other end of it. But anyways, I was riding that pretending that I was a cowboy. I don't know why I actually thought I was a cowboy. But anyways, I tripped on the rug and I fell and I bashed my eye open on the side of the, we have like glass stairs over here. We don't have carpet stairs like most people. Like one of our staircases is metal. The other one is glass and I fell on the glass one, split my uh, head open right here. And then I got some glue. We didn't need stitches for some reason. They just use like this like type of glue stuff that glues your skin together. And then also this one, you can't really see it regular, but right, there, there, uh, hair doesn't even grow there anymore because that's a scar that I got, uh, probably five, six years ago. I don't really know. I got it when I was in middle school and we were playing cops and robbers. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically just like a tag type of game where there's like a jail and a base. And then you try and get to the base without getting tagged by the cops and you're the robber, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I was trying to juke this kid out thinking I was so cool because I was the robber. I'm trying to juke him on the cement and my feet just came out and I bashed my chin right on the uh, pavement. <laughs> And I remember that so vividly, like I couldn't feel the lower half of my face. Like from here down, it was completely numb because of how hard I hit. And I was like screaming and I wanted to hold my chin because I knew it was bleeding, but I couldn't feel where it was or anything. It was really weird, but uh, that sucked. And I got some stitches there. And the last scar I can really think of is somewhere on my forehead. I don't even think it's very noticeable anymore. You guys probably won't even be able to see it, but I was running in to get olives because my mom was making tacos for dinner and she's like, hey John, you want some olives? I'm like, yeah, I want some olives. So I ran in and then I trip. Why am I so clumsy, dude? All of these are me tripping and I tripped on my foot and there's like these little like brick stair things, like two tiny stairs from the carpet to the kitchen area. It's like this big of a difference and I tripped 
and my forehead hit right on like the stair thing, like right at the edge where the stairs meet like that. My forehead hit there and I cut my forehead open. So um, yeah, I'm pretty clumsy and those are actually the only scars I can think of, which is pretty lucky. Hi Pedro. Hi buddy, what's up? You have a good day when I was at school? That's good. Did you protect the house for us? Nice, good work. All right, good talk. Catch you next time. Peace out, buddy. Now, last but certainly not least is a little song recommendation for today. Although this is kind of a skit because I added in those little scenes of me like falling and stuff. Hope you guys thought those were kind of funny. I don't know. But uh, today's song recommendation is, I don't know. We'll have to find a song. Okay, today's song is a song called Flowers and it's by Khan or K-A-A-N. I've talked about this guy a ton on my channel. He's one of my favorite artists, if not my favorite artist right now. His name is literally just K period A period A period N period. I don't know if it's Khan or what, but he is one of the fastest rappers I've ever seen and he never breathes in his songs ever. It's insane. And the cool thing is some of his songs don't even have choruses, like at all. Some of his songs are just straight bars the entire time with no chorus. So that's kind of cool. Was that cool? I don't know if that looked cool. Whoa, that was really zoomed in. But anyways, thank you guys all so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed it. It takes like a tenth of a second and it means so much to me. And I believe that one day this hard work will pay off because hard work never goes unnoticed. I promise you guys that. Anyways, have a great day and peace out. Find a source of innovation, more inspiration, procrastination won't save the masses. The way that I've been setting example for you bastards. No, I'm not bashful. Time has been passing. Every single second devoted to my passion. For my dedication is never put in a casket. The way that I've been rhyming and flowing, I got a hat.